Hello and greetings from Iceland, but I have some news about our old and famous volcano, Hekla now. But uh, there was this unusual earthquake activity going on, just by the mountain, not on any extreme scale. It's uh, quite a lot when it comes to Hekla, who has been relatively quiet. And this volcano has been monitored especially well by our uh, experts. And I'm going to use a chance now to provide you with a uh, live cam link. And I'm going to go briefly over history, but yet again we have a volcano with uh, Icelandic uh, woman's first name. And Hekla is a stratovolcano in southern Iceland, around uh, two hours drive from Reykjavik. It is sited at uh, Rift Transform Junction in the area where the South Icelandic seismic zone and the Eastern volcanic zone meet. This is one of the greatest lava producing machine in the world for the last millennia. And Hekla is almost 1500 meter high, and it is one of Iceland's most active volcano. But in the last decades, we have seen her uh, change the pattern. So instead of uh, those large eruptions, we see more frequent eruptions now, often ranking around three on the volcanic uh, explosivity scale. But if it's long time between eruptions, she can rank up to five easily. And I see two eruptions from her ranked six. But that is on the scale of Mount uh, Pinatubo. And the eruptions who rank uh, about five, they are uh, around uh, Vesuvius and uh, St. Helens. So when it comes to risk from her, she might be just as powerful as Katla, but she is different. And my generation grew up with uh, frequent eruptions. So we have not maybe given her all the respect that she uh, needs. But during the Middle Ages, Hekla was called the gateway to hell. And when we look at the ancient maps, the first maps of Iceland, they make her look very scary, giving you an idea about the reputation. And the last big one was in 1947. It was extremely explosive. And this is a part of a video that I have already online. And there are also good documentaries to be found online about the 1947 eruption. And it was when they were taking similar uh, videos as this when one scientist, Icelandic, got killed. And quite frankly, I don't understand what they were doing up there on the mountain by then. But this eruption was just a part of uh, what she can do. She can throw big lava bombs tens of kilometers away from the mountain. And the biggest eruptions in Hekla are of such magnitude that uh, large parts of Iceland would be inhabitable for years to come after the eruption. And it was in 2003 when a team of Icelandic scientists found the traces of uh, pyroclastic flow, roughly five kilometers long, stretching down the side of the mountain. She is capable of that too. So it is no wonder why we have this uh, webcam pointing at her day and night all year. So like before the eruption started on the Reykjanes Peninsula, I am in a way preparing my viewers for might uh, what be about to happen. But uh, here's a list of the earthquakes that have been monitored by Hekla from January 1st this year, month by month. And there is actually nothing uh, interesting going on there. There are occasional earthquakes there. That is uh, nothing new. But uh, yesterday, it was announced to the media by scientists that uh, she might be up to something. But they did not issue a formal warning, like uh, air traffic warning. But they issued a warning of that kind uh, last year. It turned out to be a false alarm. But the warning code was erased for a few months. So the situation there is a bit hectic. There is tension in there. And this time the scientists clearly were not ready to go all the way with uh, full warning. But the warning that they got into the media might have been more for like people who are hiking there because uh, it's this time of year. And the problem that we have with Hekla is that she goes off with little or no warning at all, which is uh, not good for hikers. And I'm going to leave this link below to a video that I translated for my channel a while ago. But it was just before the eruption in the year 2000 when a scientist in the university called the newsroom and said Hekla will erupt in few minutes. Put it in there, and the National Broadcasting Service did so, and Hekla erupted few minutes later. So our scientists know the uh, signs when she's about to rip out the ground. But uh, before that uh, short time frame, or like 15 to 30 minutes, they cannot see any signs at all. So when they see an earthquake swirl, like now, they get a bit nervous. And they want people off the mountain, if she would be up to something more. But we don't know. And uh, I think that we should actually hope for uh, short and relatively harmless eruptions rather than those uh, big ones. 
So there are few mountains in Iceland that are monitored as well as Hekla. And the expansion that they are measuring now is by far more than the expansion that they were measuring before the eruption in the year 2000. And that is of course saying that we have a ticking time bomb there. And actually not the only one here in Iceland, because uh, we have expected it for a while now that uh, the next big eruption would take place in Grimsvötn, and they are still likely to go off. So for those of you who are deep into the subject, I recommend the webcam, and this webcam site can also show you more sites here in Iceland. And I think it is the only webcam that is uh, located by Hekla in the moment. But in the case of an eruption, uh, that would change for sure. And if you want to do your own research, I am adding link to the earthquake monitor, where you can zoom all the way down to the mountain Hekla and see exactly where the earthquakes are and adapt. It allows you as well to pick any date or take a look at longer periods like up to a year. But I want to remind you that uh, the information in this monitor can be few hours old in some cases because they don't uh, publish them until they have uh, gone over the information manual, unless it's bigger earthquakes, like uh, over 0.3. But you have also the option to go on to the Icelandic weather pages, click on the earthquake monitor, and you will have them there unfiltered, so the information might change as you update it, but it is as new information as you can get. And this news uh, made me go through my uh, photo collection to see if I had uh, some Hekla photos and, uh, well, I had a uh, few that rescued this video for me. And for a while I got all fired up getting ready to drive over the highlands and uh, take a look at Hekla, what was going on and get some footage. But then I got the feeling that uh, I should, uh, yeah, stay cool since I already had the plan to go south in a few days. And Hekla was already on my program for two summer to do some uh, video shootings there because it helped my channel so much to uh, have lots of uh, footage from the Reykjanes Peninsula before the eruption started, and I hope uh, that will be the case when it comes to the next eruption in Iceland. And in the case of Hekla, I just want to have a good set of uh, photos there, because uh, I want to know how she looked before the next eruption. It is, of course, impossible to make any forecasts, about the size of the potential eruption that you might have in Hekla, but uh, my guess would be small or medium, but we never know. So for the next days, I am sticking to my summer stolstis uh, photography tour for a while longer here in North Iceland, where the summer finally came. It was over 20 degrees Celsius here today, and in Iceland that means stinking hot. And with that, I'm sending you sunny regards from our little volcano island.